Welcome to this Solid Edge podcast, bringing you quick and easy tips and tricks from the experts. In this week's show, I'm joined by Mark Thompson to show you how to use a bolted connection in Solid Edge simulation to simulate more real world design scenarios. In this assembly, you have two components. They're sheet metal parts that are basically bolted together uh, on each side as well as across the top with three holes. Now using solid edge simulation, we can certainly create an analysis between the solids, between the solid and surfaces, or just use the surfaces. And in this case, I've got two mid-plane surfaces representing these parts. So I'm basically going to basically going to hide the bodies of these parts and just work directly with the surfaces. Now once I've created the initial study and I apply the force and uh, the, and the uh, constraints, then what I want to do is I want to tell solid edge simulation how these parts are actually connected. In the connectors group, I'm going to use the bolted connection option. And when I select that, it's going to give us some options and a quick bar. Now you can see I've got three holes across the top and I want to quickly identify those. So we have an option called all on a plane. Just by selecting one hole, it's going to pick up all of those holes. It's automatically going to pick up the shaft diameter and create a bolt and nut diameter. And in this case, if I want to use a pre-stress value, uh, force value, I can key in, for example, 100 millimeters, 100 millinewtons, and it's going to create that bolted connection for all three of those components. And you can see where it's going to build the rigid elements to connect to the mesh when the mesh is created. Now I've got the two bolts on the side I need to deal with, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the bolted connection again, and this time I'm just going to select the one hole, and what it does is it's going to search out whatever's in line with that hole, thinking the user might want to bolt this all with one bolt. But in this case I want two separate bolts, one on each side. So all you have to do is come to the end and grab that sphere and just simply drag it back and change the search uh, value to uh, from the top to the bottom here. Key in our pre stress value again of 100 millinewtons, right mouse button click, and it creates that bolted connection for the right side. The only thing that's left to do is create the bolted connection on the opposite side. And the exercise here really is to show you that if you need to change that search distance so it doesn't identify all of those holes at the same time, you simply click and hold and drag and bra drag that uh, search value back a little bit graphically. Key in your pre stress value right mouse button click to create the connector. Now I've got five connectors created for this part. Then I can mesh and solve the parts and then we can view the results very quickly where you can see that the bolted connection is being used for these two um, sheet metal components. Thanks for showing how to use bolted connections to simulate more real world design conditions. To learn more go to siemens.com forward slash solid edge or call your local solid edge channel partner.